Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I was walking with the Sierra Club right now, just now in the mountains, and then I fell a little behind and so now I'm walking on my own. I bet they'll catch up with me a little bit later on though, and that's usually the way. <laughs> so I just thought I'd mention something we were talking about, another member and I were talking about while we were walking, and that is the way to hold reincarnational experiences. So uh, it's kind of a hard topic to talk to another person about because a lot of people don't believe in reincarnation. That's just their mental filter. They don't believe. Other people, they have experiences, uh, memories that have woken up in them about past reincarnations, and they believe in, in reincarnation. <laughs> and, uh, so, and then there are people of a psychological bent who believe that, that reincarnational memories are, are really the archetypal memories of mankind, so humankind. So over, over however long you believe humankind to have existed, and that, that ranges from millions of years to 2,000 years, depending on, or maybe less for all I know, depending on your mental filter. Uh, that length of time, the theory goes, the psychological theory goes that there are certain deeply implanted memories in, in all the people, say, in one culture, have uh, certain archetypal um, images, like which could, they feel could appear like lifetimes, like past lifetimes. So then there's one other point of view, at least, about this, and that is that we exist in the now, in a, in a time, in a, in a like, um, um, a medium that, that really contains neither time nor space. And that, that all of these things, all of these memories that we have, are not of the past or future lifetimes, but are all happening right now, multidimensionally at the same moment in the now, you know. So, and then, um, so then uh, to get on with that story, um, so she and I were talking about um, start, my idea of starting a, an incarnational scrapbook. So every time I came across the memory of an incarnation or archetypal memory, as the case may be, I would look for a picture uh, that, look, that reminded me of that lifetime and, and make a scrapbook that, that contains pictures that remind me of all my incarnations. Wouldn't that be a cool thing? It would be a wonderful learning tool for families that, that uh, believe in, in reincarnation, they could, they could teach their children to, to start a scrapbook like that. So, uh, so uh, there is that story about incarnations and different ways of holding them and how we can all agree to disagree or agree to agree in some way uh, about things that we hold differently through our, because of our mental filters. <laughs> and so there's one other thing I wanted to mention about the now and the idea of teams. We know I talk a lot about celestial teams or ascension teams and I put them in all my activations of light. I include the teams. And someone was asking me, I think it was last night, what the teams really are. Excuse me. What the teams really are. Um, from my, you know, people envision them very differently. Some say that they're help from different, from our brothers and sisters of the stars, from different star systems, and others say from different levels of reality, like um, including the angelic realm and uh, the ascended master level and the star brother and sister level, and so on. And some say that. Uh, that our team is really uh, the the awareness in the in the now of of our many incarnations. So the team that we are calling upon, and this is this is um, a theory that I like very much right now because it's very empowering for for me. That the team that I'm calling on is really me in many different expressions of myself in the now many dimensions, many timelines, and so forth. So if you like that, you know, you can, you can play with that. You can enjoy that concept. And um, 
that's really all for today. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Take care.